Hi guys, welcome back. So, today I'm going to be filming a Fall Basics 101 video. So, I know a lot of times we watch fashion videos and we really like the outfits, but I had one of my friends ask me, wait, how do you put together an outfit from the beginning? So that's what this video is going to cover. Um, I have my pumpkin spice coffee to accompany me. So yeah, and just a little update, so I've been working three jobs, that's why I haven't been on here that much, and I'm going to be moving further out, so I'm not going to be in the city anymore, but I do work in the city every two weeks, so if you want to see my outfit pics and what I'm up to, you can follow me at Bag in New York City with an underdash on my Instagram. So this video is broken into different parts, turtlenecks, sweaters, pants, sweater vests, skirts and dresses. The first outfit is a shirt from a company OGL that's supposed to be and is really warm. I paired this shirt with these black Levi's and added this belt because the hardware elevates the outfit. This outfit screams gay. It's great for when you want to fag it up but still keep a masculine flair. The sweater vest is from my favorite store, Awoke Vintage. The belt is from Telfar and the pants, which are almost a wine color, are from Urban Outfitters. I really like corduroy, so yeah, fag it up, gaze. This outfit is all about the skirt. It's simple, delicate, and sexy all at the same time. I really like the color and how the bottom has this lace detail. I paired this with my turtleneck. These are just brown corduroys from a company called Halara, which is a bit problematic because they stole Cassie Ho's designs, but I needed an inexpensive pair of corduroys because my mom got rid of mine by accident. And as they say, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, kids. These green corduroys are supposed to replace the green ones I used to have. The material is softer and more pajama-like. We miss the old pair. The sweater I got from a vintage store in Brooklyn. I was walking to meet my friend for coffee and came across it. I got it because it was similar to the one my mom got rid of. This pattern is different though. And then I paired it with these Levi pants which have a baggier fit. Now I'm going to be styling these Sheertex tights. I became the Instagram algorithm's little bitch and bought these for the promised durability and sheerness, though the sheerness only exists above the knee, but overall I like them and Instagram won. As you can see from the outfit, the tights don't look sheer, but whatever. I'm wearing this white button down under a sweater vest and paired this with a brown leather, maybe fake leather, not sure, skirt. I got this skirt from a woke vintage too and paired it with my brown turtleneck. As we see, this piece has become a staple for other pieces. I like this skirt, but wish it was shorter to be sexy, but I suppose this will do. This dress definitely yells fall and PSL. I paired this with the brown shirt I got from, yes, you guessed it, a woke vintage. Well, that's all I have, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, editing Jason here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in my style. Um, I'm actually offering styling video calls um, and I'm also offering peer support for folks who are neurodivergent and struggling within academia. Um, I used to run a study blur and I would just like collect a lot of resources in one place um, which really helped me um, progress as a student. So if you're interested in any of those services I'm going to link the website in my description down below and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any ideas definitely let me know. Okay, bye!